Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's Mark M Zero VST with my with my small run through and maybe a bit of a review on the what's commonly known as the Klansman PRC three twenty man pack, um, it, which is really the Plessy RT three twenty, as they were the guys that um, made it and, and sold it to all over the planet, all different uh, military. Um, all different countries' militaries ended up with these radios, but right, we'll start at the beginning. Um, well, I suppose that's the on dial. I'll give you just a quick look up and down the uh, radio. Here on the end is a 20, 24 volt battery. There's the plug in for it. We'll come to that later. Where the uh, another device called a um, DCCU that's where the charger comes in for that. These are our decade switches, which are, as you can see, a bit notchy. They do down to 100 hertz. So at the moment, I'm on 14.2495, which is really 14.2475, because this, this, these dials actually show the, um, the suppressed carrier frequency. Not if it was on if it was on um, AM or CW, it'd be it'd be right. But on SSB, upper sideband, it's going to be two up. Um, this is your main frequency uh, selector. So, for instance, if I if I want to be up here, so on 14 megs, this has got to be right. Otherwise, you get a tone, which won't you just won't stop. This has to be in the right place. This is kind of a a chunky nice switch this is your mode selection so at the moment it's an SSB AM uh, sorry CW wide AM narrow and frequency check um, frequency check is you can have another station that's um, sending a carrier and you'll get close to it with so you can hear it with your decade switches and this fires um, your own sort of side tone and if your side tone is uh, smooth with the other one and doesn't vibrate so it's uh, it's on then you're 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 aligned if you get a slight slight sort of uh, wobble then it's just a slight bit a bit out of um, alignment but if it's uh, really bad then it obviously it needs to go back these things are completely sealed and were never designed for anybody on the ground out in the battlefield to um to to adjust anything they were uh, straight back to the, like, the engineers if anything happened. Um, the tuning section. This is kind of like completely se separate really. Um, this is when you're using um, the top and I'll show you this in the, later on in this video. On the top here is a, um, a connector for, the, for an end fed wire, um, a dipole or you could use that to connect to a 5.4 meter or 7.4 meter mast. And there's there's actually a, a display. I'll show you this again in the video later on. There's a there's a board here which shows you uh, what what setting this has got to be for what for which radio. But for this demonstration, I've bypassed this. There is a there's B and C's on the back of this radio, which allows me to cheat. Really, I'm not using the internal tuner today. I'm using um, that. My Powerstar AT2K, just because it's easy and simple, and I don't want to have to run an end-fed wire right through into the shack to get all the way to here. So it's much better for me to have less RF in the shack to run coax from here over there and use that tuner. But when I'm out in the in the field, out in the back garden or portable, I do use the internal tuner. So we've done that. This is the uh, say the main band switch. These are the decade switches. This is obviously the audio game, and this section, right, when it's on antenna, so at the moment it's not going to be, antenna is not going to be used in any use because I've got the loop out of the back, so there's um, it, there's nothing for it to tune, and you're hearing that at the moment. Oh, I'm on frequency check. Right, so now we're on. Oh, that's just been. Oh, there's someone called Emil. We're hearing this audio 
through this headset. I'm a bit zoomed in actually, I apologise. We'll come to the, uh, the audio amp in a minute. There's an audio amp up there. But for this quick demonstration at the beginning, we're going to be using this headset, this uh, telephone. So, let me turn the gain down. So we've got, we're actually, we're on uh, low power now, so it'd be three watts. I've just turned the gain down. We're on SSB. We're on 142495. And we're not using the internal tuner. Let's see who that was. It's certainly very good. Another thing is with this, this transceiver, there is no um, no signal meter. I'm just going to turn this amp on. See if we can hear him any better. Watch this gauge as I transmit. Try and get him on the next over. We have three watts, first of all. Roger, Roger. Merry Christmas, happy to hear at 73 from Croatia. DE10CC, 9 America, 9 America, 73 at best wishes. Uh, Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, QRP. I suspect you might need a bit more than 3 watts. Uh, Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, QRP. Yeah, thanks very much. That is Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, QRP. Uh, wow, thanks for the 59 plus. You're also 59. 7-3. That was a good demonstration. That was straight off the hat. Just, just to show you, we're on low power. So that would be high power. That's battery check. Our battery is just over, just over two. So back to, back to uh, low power. Yeah, I thought it was. Nine America, nine America. Anyway, sorry about that. I get a bit get a bit distracted. Um, it's uh, the power output is three watts and thirty watts. I think I mentioned that. Um, the decade switches really stand for themselves. It's pretty obvious. This is uh, the antenna. Obviously, I, I told you when uh, when you've got it on antenna when you when you key the PTT and you've got these in the right section according to the chart. You're using this fine. You're using this tune to get this dial to hit to stay at the highest. And uh, once you get it, so so I'm on C7, which I normally use for the whip. On uh, I think it's on 20 meters. Um, I would flick down. If I'm using a different antenna, I'd flick down one and see if I can get it to go any higher. The lowest number here is the best. But that's the uh, I say that's the tuner. Um, well, I'll just give you a little sneak preview into the rest of the kit up there, didn't I? We just flicked on the audio amplifier. That'll have to be in another part of this uh, video, I think. We're already up to eight minutes, I think. It's eight minutes. So this is going to be quite an upload. Um, any questions about the um, about the RT320? Um, I'm going to come in after this. I'll have to do another bit about um, all the auxiliaries. So at the moment, we're using... A, a telephone with a PTT there. Hold on a second, I've got a phone call. I've got a sonnet at the door. I think I've gone through it. The decade switches, antenna, low power, high power, battery check. The frequency check against another stable carrier on the same frequency to see if you're if you're okay. Um, the CW, I think that goes, let me see if I can find the, um, the exact details about that. It's um there we go. On SSB it's 2.7 kilohertz wide. AM is double sideband at 6 kilohertz wide. On the key, 
on wide, CW is 2.7 wide. On CW narrow, it's 250 hertz, so it's quite narrow. Um, this can operate between minus 37 and plus 52, and obviously it covers between 2 and 30 megs. And uh, the frequency control is built in from a frequency synthesizer and a reference oscillator. I think that's about it really. Now the power consumption on receive it's 3.6 watts, on transmit it's 40 watts. It's, it says to the book that 20, the 24 volt 3.3 amp power battery should provide 12, 12 hours of um, operation on a 1 to 9 transmit receive ratio. And I'm getting this from the, uh, from the manual. Just extra information about the radio you might be interested in. Right, I better do the rest of the bits and bobs. Here are the audio inputs and audio outputs. There's two of them on the bottom of the uh, on the back of the 320. With these, you can plug them into. Say, for instance, you could plug a speaker in there. Then you could plug in everything that's got a through on it, pretty much. So the speaker, you could plug a speaker into there. Then you could plug a microphone into the speaker or a, or a key into the speaker. Um, I use one of them out to the audio amplifier, and one of them with my headset of choice or handset or transducer or whatever I'm using at the time I'll plug into the other one. This is at the top of the um, PRC320 this is the BNC loop that I was telling you about so when you're using the internal ETU this is joined but because I was using the uh, the PowerStar I had it just straight out of here. And this is the chart that tells you um, for what frequency that you want tells you where, so if I'm using the whip antenna that goes on the top or the mast on 7.9 or 4.5 it tells you exactly where the uh, the tuner's got to be, so C3 at one end as we're going up it's going to turn into uh, C9 and the end fed etc etc. Down here is the length for the the uh, dipole elements you know I'm a big massive fan of these dipole elements this, uh, this is the same stuff that I used to make pretty much all my wire antennas out of. So this is your length, this is your frequency and that's that's the uh, all important chart so you can use the internal tuner. This is the uh, antenna output from the tuner. This is a hole that will take the will take one of these which is um, a 2.4 meter antenna which you, you'd, when this is worn in the back you'd use this straight out of here. Um, there is, this is uh, still the live side. This is a little terminal to, to nip a an end fed wire, and this is the uh, earth. So you would trap, say for instance, one of these. I'm a bit zoomed in there, guys. I apologise. One of these has got a centre conductor, so you'd attach the centre conductor to here, and then attach all these are separate. So these four reels you'd roll them out and then you'd all attach them to the centre and then the centre would attach to here. So that's that side of things. I think that's pretty much it. Ah, there's another backpack. This is it in its backpack form. So, uh, ignore these things right up here. This is um, an extra zip on off the side of my Bergen that I put on there. But it's uh, strapped in. This is the space for uh, the antenna. On the back here is uh, obviously where it goes onto your back. It's a bit untidy at the moment I'm afraid, but that's where all the spare stuff, so if I was going out light, it's easy to throw this in the back of the car, rather than that big huge steel frame. And in there I've got my, my count poise, um, a spare telephone to use, I can put my headset in there. In the pocket in the bottom, I've probably got um, a gooseneck. The antenna is inside the back of it, and that's it. I could probably take a spare battery with me. So that would do me an afternoon's fun on uh, on the bands.